You're not getting a car. What? I was. What? 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 What am I, an idiot? Huh? I I've seen deep and delightful Hillary. I've seen likes what I like Hillary. And I've seen, ooh, Daddy, have you been working out, Hillary? <laughs> and none of yous are getting a car. Oh, come on, Dad. I deserve one. Hillary, Hillary, your grades stink. You break curfew all the time. And you don't help out at all around here. I'm going to give you keys to a car? No. You're lucky I don't run you over with a car. <laughs> And you're gonna look like the worst father in the world. Wow. This is such an honor, nine years in a row. I don't know what to say. I, I have to thank my kids. Um, what the hell are their names? Oh, who cares about them tonight? It's about me. Mom, will you tell Dad to at least think about getting me a car? Sorry, honey. Your dad and I are a united front. Whatever he says goes for me, too. Thank you. Yeah. She'll probably get her a car. What? Yeah, before you know it, she'll be going off to college. <laughs> It'd be better for her to learn the responsibility of driving while we're still around. I guess you got a point. Plus, I know of an eight-year-old Volvo station wagon she could have. All we'd have to do is buy the current owner a new car. Like maybe a new Lexus. I knew it. I knew it. Let me explain something. Bottom line, nobody's getting any new cars around okay, here. Okay, fine. But do you know how bad my car makes you look? Wow, I, I only wrote one speech because I, I did not expect this. You hate me. You really, really hate me. Hi, Larry. Hi. So, how's your brother? I haven't spoken to him since we broke up. You big lucky. <laughs> Maybe I should break up with him. You're funny. Mike's not funny at all. Neither's your dad. Am I crazy or is my brother's ex-girlfriend flirting with me? I better put a stop to this. So you want to go out sometime? <laughs> like I'm going to get Hillary a car. Give me a break. W well, if you do, I I'd have her sign one of those car contracts. What's that? You know, where the parents and the kids sign a contract so the kid doesn't drink and drive, always wears a seatbelt, that kind of thing. Huh. And if she doesn't follow the rules, I just take the car away. Yeah, those contracts could save a kid's life. Huh. And more importantly, for the price of a used car, I could pretty much own her ass. <laughs> huh. Joe, you're brilliant. Well, where, where'd you come up with that one? They talked about it for two hours last week at that seminar on teenage insurance. Nah, I must have missed that. You sat next to me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Jennifer with the curly hair and hot body gave the presentation? Oh, that was a good meeting. <laughs> And she has to maintain a B average or we take the car away. Good one. Yeah. Oh, and if she misses curfew and comes in a minute past 1230, we take the car away. Wait, 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 wait. Why 1230? We're rewriting the rules. New curfew, 1130. And if she doesn't like it, we, we take, take the, the car, car away. <laughs> hey, you know who I hate? That pothead Charlie guy she's been hanging out with. Oh, well, in that case, I say we had a no Charlie clause. Huh? Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> Now all we have to do is find her a cheap, safe, used car that we could take away from her. Yeah. Hey, my mom mentioned that she wants to sell her car. I already took her daughter off her hands. So when does it end? <laughs> Dad. Dad. I need to have a man-to-man -man talk. All right. Well, wake me up when the other man gets here. <laughs> I asked out my sex girlfriend, and now I feel really guilty about it. Good. You should. You can't go out with your brother's ex. That's guy code. It's bros before hoes. <laughs> but Heidi's not a hoe. I'm pretty sure that's the reason Mike broke up with her in the first place. <laughs> Larry, you guys barely get along as it is, okay? You don't want to piss each other off, you know, because then resentments build up, and one day you're at your brother's wedding, and you're giving a drunken toast, and you think you're being funny, but you're actually calling your brother's new wife a fat cow. <laughs> but I really like Heidi. All right, if there's one thing I know about, it's how to ruin a relationship with a brother. All right, if you don't believe me, ask your Uncle Eric. I have an Uncle Eric? <laughs> all right, I know what I'm talking about, all right? But if you want another opinion, ask your mother. Vicky, you awake? If I let him know I'm awake, he'll want to have sex. Oh, crap. Now I have to pee. Man, she's a sound sleeper. Look, I know she would back me up on this, all right? You can't go out with her. Fine. 
guess I'll just hang out with you and Mom every Saturday night for the rest of my life. Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't let me finish. Look, you can't go out with her unless you ask Mike. All right, if he's okay with it, fine. But if not, then leave her alone. Okay, I can do that. Thanks, Dad. Anytime. And by any time, I mean before 10 p.m. during the week, 6 p.m. on Saturday, and never on Sunday. <laughs> All right, Betty, so, uh, how much you want for it? Dave, I don't know anything about cars. I, we're family. Just make me a fair offer. Okay. How about 2500 How about you shove it? <laughs> I mean, that's not even close to Blue Book. 4800 not a penny less. No way. Forget it. No deal. Seems like a small price to pay to get complete control of your daughter. <laughs> Plus, I gotta get rid of it. I was involved in a small hit-and-run last week. Okay. All right. $3,500, but that's my final offer. Fine. But we say the car is from both of us. And tell Vicky, when I come over for dinner, she can't make that eggplant parmesan anymore. Unless she's trying to kill me. Fine. Okay. Deal. And just for the record, Dave, it's not about the money. I just want my granddaughter to be happy. Oh. Cash, right? <laughs> well, funny story, Mike. Uh, so I ran into your ex-girlfriend, Heidi, and I asked her out, and she said yes. <laughs> well, funny story, right? Why are you telling me? I don't care. Oh. Uh, okay. Great. Thanks, Mike. Thanks a lot. <laughs> what? Well, what's so funny? Nothing. <laughs> I mean... You do know the only reason she's going out with you is to make me jealous, right? What? You think that's the only reason she'd go out with me? No, 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 no. I mean, she may need citizenship. <laughs> or kidney. <laughs> or, or, or maybe she's going out with me because I'm the funny brother and you're not funny at all. You'll see, this has nothing to do with you. So, ta-da! <laughs> yeah, if I were you, I'd save that ta-da for the first time she sees you with your pants off. <laughs> It won't help her disappointment, but at least you'll still think you're funny, right? That's so important. Sweetie, ask me for a car. No, we've played this game before, Daddy. Ask me for a car. Can I have a car? No. It's not funny, it's just cruel. Oh, come on, sweetie. This time it'll be different, I promise. Go ahead, ask me. Can I have a car? Hell no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding you, sweetie. Look, we decided to give you your grandmother's old car. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. Oh, sweetie. That's nothing I wouldn't do for my granddaughter. Uh, look, sweetie, the, the car, it's from all of us. And by all of us, I mean mostly me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Not so, 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 so. <clears throat> Not so fast. There's one condition. Okay, I'm bored. I'll go and see about dinner. What are we having, anyway? Eggplant parmesan. Yum. <laughs> what is it? Ask me anything, just name it. Okay, if you want the car, you have to sign this. What's that? A car contract. It's things that you'll agree to do if you want to keep the car. Now, I look at it very carefully, because... Keep these. <laughs> what? You're in violation of the contract. What do you mean? I haven't even gotten in the car yet. It says very explicitly that we have final wardrobe approval. And that's not a skirt, sweetie. <clears throat> that's an invitation. <laughs> Which brings us to safety. Seat belts and underwear must be worn at all times. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, running errands? Uh, car police? This is ridiculous. Sorry, it's my way or no highway. Sweetie, I forgot to tell you. We also, we got you your own gas credit card. Really? Hell no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> I'm still so young. <laughs> this is great. Mike is so wrong. Heidi totally likes me. And quite frankly, what's not to like? I rock. Hey, hey, hey Heidi Ho. <laughs> Miss me much? You wish, Shorty. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about that. Forget yeah. about him. Let's just keep watching the movie, okay, Mike? I mean, Larry. God, I'm sorry. 
It's okay. Um, everyone makes mistakes, right? Doesn't mean anything. Oh my God, Mike's right. Heidi doesn't like me. And quite frankly, what's the like? I suck. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe she's just kissing me so that I think I'm wrong. Oh, uh, who cares? I have more than one tongue in my mouth. <laughs> My homework's done. I deleted Pothead Charlie from my buddy list. And I'm dressed like a Hasidic girl. I'm good to go, right? Yeah, you're good to go. To the dentist to pick up your little brother. Fine. <laughs> While you're out, uh, stop by the drugstore for me. I need some antifungal cream. <laughs> don't worry. I don't have a fungus. <laughs> but isn't this so much fun? <laughs> took forever, and they were out of soda, so I had to go to the supermarket, and there's horrible construction on Glen Cove Road, but it's here, and it's still hot. Where are the egg rolls? I guess they forgot them. I'll go back. Isn't this car contract thing amazing? <laughs> You're right. It's like we have complete control over her. Hey, she's the first Jewish slave in over 6,000 years. <laughs> and she works for us. We are great parents. <laughs> oh, look. The egg rolls are here. <laughs> so, Larry, who's next on your list of inappropriate dates? I'm sure Dad probably has some ex-girlfriends. Maybe they're available. But wait, why stop there? Why not go out with Hillary? You know, she has a car now, so... <laughs> Hey, hey, Mike, did, did you ever have any trouble opening that double hook on Heidi's bra? Oh, wait, that's right. You never got that far. <laughs> you know what? Neither did you, you liar. Yeah, that's right. I'm lying. <laughs> lying down with your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Seriously? Shut up. You shut up. Hey, you both shut up. Yeah, yeah stop fighting, you two. And this is what I was afraid of, okay? Now, you figure out a way to settle this yourself, or I'm going to settle it for you. All right. Hey, now, who wants some fried rice? You know what? I don't want fried rice because I have a girlfriend who really likes me, so I don't want fried rice. <laughs> I bet if I made out with the fried rice first, then you'd want some. <laughs> All right, stop, stop, okay? Now, look, Heidi was Mike's first girlfriend, so stop teasing him. Ha! Huh. And for all we know, Heidi could be Larry's last girlfriend, so you lay off. <laughs> hey, wait, what? Big hit. What? I'm not having sex. No, no, I, I can't sleep. It's this Mike and Larry thing. You know, every time those two go at it, it reminds me that, uh, you know, maybe I'm not any better at this than my father was. That's not true. He would have drank a fifth of scotch and passed out watching The Tonight Show. You're up and you're worrying about them. That's progress. Good night. No, no, see, see, the problem was, you know, my father always used to get in the middle of everything. You know, that's why Eric and I, well, we can't get along today. You know, we don't know how to work things out between the two of us. Well, that means a f***ing idiot. <laughs> talk about this all night long. No, it's just sometimes I start to think about the past and, and I get a little sad. Hey, you want to have sex? Sure. Okay. All right. I'm going to the mall with Brenda. I'll see you later. Oh, good. I'm sure your grandmother will enjoy seeing her. Uh, what? Yeah, you got to drive Grandma Betty to the podiatrist. <laughs> Anything else? No. No. Uh, you know, just I'll wait there a couple of hours while they scrape off her bunions. <laughs> No. <laughs> Excuse me? I said no. No? Well, then I guess we could always rip up that car contract. Good! Do it. Then we're just going to have to take away the car. Fine. Whoa, 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 what do you mean fine? Don't you mean, no, Daddy, I'll do anything. Please don't take away my car. No! Take the car back. I can't take this anymore. I'm out. But you love that car. Yeah, and what about driving all your friends around and being the cool girl with her own car? What about Grandma's bunions? 
You can scrape them off yourself for all I care. I am done. I'm gonna go now, but I'll be sure to tell Pothead Charlie you guys said hello. <laughs> Bye. Sure we can work something out? Sweetie, come on. I'm sure we could come to some sort of compromise. Come on, honey. You're right. Let's, let's compromise. Yeah, okay, let's come to some sort of compromise. First, curfew. 11.30, not gonna work for me. Okay, uh, I'm sure we could bump it up 12. Okay. Bup, 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 bup. <laughs> I'm thinking 12.30 and uh, driving Mike and Larry around and uh, running all your errands. I wouldn't hold your breath. All right, okay. All right, Hillary, you know what? <clears throat> you know, let's just forget about compromising and forget about this, you know, silly little contract. And you know what else you should forget about? What? Ever driving that car again. You're done. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, midnight curfew could work. No, 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 no. It's too late. You're bossing us around. I'm the bup, bup, bup guy, not you. <laughs> Good going, Moses. You just freed our only slave. <laughs> each other questions, you know, to get to know each other better, like, what's your favorite color, that kind of thing. Okay. Okay, you go first. Um, what's your favorite band? Coldplay, not my turn. Are you going out with me just to make my brother jealous so you can get him back? <laughs> what? Uh, there's no wrong answer, it's just for fun. No, I'm not. Really? Yes, really. I have no interest in ever going out with Mike again. Ugh. Yes! Hey, Mike, you get down here! <laughs> I was right. Heidi said that she wasn't going out with me to get you back. She's going out with me because she likes me in your face. Go ahead, Heidi. Tell me. Uh, Larry, you didn't let me finish. Uh-oh. I'm not interested in you anymore, either. I mean, you were really funny that time at the pizza place, but lately you just seem, I don't know, paranoid. Paranoid? That's ridiculous. Mike put you up to this, didn't he? You guys are already back together. Tell me the truth. I'm gonna leave now. See you at school. Loser. <laughs> You're the loser. And you know what? Heidi was my girlfriend. Hey, you shut up! You would belong to me! Walk away! All right, all right, that's it! That's it! Stop it! Okay? I, I tried to stay out of this, but 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 I can't. Okay? You guys don't give me any choice. You you you're both out of the Heidi business. You can't date her, and you can't date her. All right? You're done. I shut you down. <laughs> Dad, she already... No, I don't care. That girl is bad news, okay? She has an itch for the men in this family, and we have to cut her off before she moves on to me. Comprende? <laughs> all right, all right, fine. Okay. And another thing, no father knows what the hell to do. So if you guys wind up hating each other's guts and having a terrible relationship, it's not my fault. On the other hand, if you end up close with a great relationship, you're welcome. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have a fifth of scotch to drink. <laughs> Do you think that we should tell him that Heidi dumped the both of us, or let him think he helped? I mean, I say we get out of here before he notices the fifth of scotch is missing. <laughs> so, what do you want for it? Well, I don't know. Since I uh, gave you $3,500 for it on Wednesday, I was thinking, I don't know, $3,500? For this old heap? I'll give you $1,500. What? Are you crazy? Hey, everybody knows a car loses half its value the minute it's driven off the lot. What lot, Betty? Th this is my driveway. Fine. In the interest of family harmony, I'll give you 2000 In installments. Come on, Betty. Well, why are you doing this to me? Is this about the eggplant parmesan? Huh? Wait, cut me some slack. You know, I have to eat that crap, too. All right, you're in. I'll pay full price. Thank you. But I noticed some strange new scratches up front. You're gonna have to give it a whole new paint job. That ought to keep the fuzz off my tail for a while. <laughs>